Understanding anti-Semitism, discrimination, and complex dynamics in the Israeli-Palestinian war. Anti-Semitism is a complex and contentious issue, often involving a fine line between legitimate criticism and bigotry. To provide a comprehensive analysis, it's crucial to understand what anti-Semitism is and what it is not. What is anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism refers to discrimination, prejudice, or hostility directed against Jewish individuals or communities based on their ethnicity, religion, or heritage. It can manifest in various forms, including Stereotyping, portraying Jews with negative, harmful, or exaggerated stereotypes, such as the belief that they control the world's financial institutions. Conspiracy theories, propagating unfounded and harmful conspiracy theories about Jews, often blaming them for societal or global problems. Hate speech, using derogatory language, slurs, or hate speech against Jewish people, either online or in real life. Discrimination, denying Jews equal rights or opportunities because of their identity, as seen in employment discrimination, housing discrimination, or social exclusion. Violence, engaging in or promoting violence against Jewish individuals or their property, ranging from harassment to physical attacks. Holocaust denial, denying or downplaying the Holocaust's historical reality or magnitude, which is both a form of anti-Semitism and historical revisionism. Boycotts and sanctions, advocating for the boycott of Jewish-owned businesses or divestment from Israel as part of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions, BDS, movement, which is seen by some as anti-Semitic. Dual loyalty accusations, accusing Jews of having a stronger allegiance to Israel than their home country, implying they are disloyal citizens. It is crucial to recognize that any form of discrimination, prejudice, or hostility directed against any group based on their ethnicity, religion, or heritage is wrong and should be condemned. This includes anti-Semitism, which targets Jewish individuals and communities, and any discrimination against Palestinians or any other group. We should remember that the Israeli government has been engaging in discriminatory practices, including employing anti-Semitic rhetoric against Palestinians. Accusations of dual loyalty, dehumanization, or any form of discrimination against Palestinians are also unacceptable and should be addressed. It is not appropriate for any party in a war, including the Israeli government or its supporters, to employ such tactics. The Israeli-Palestinian war is a deeply complex and sensitive issue, and it is essential to promote a fair, open, and respectful discussion that respects the rights, dignity, and perspectives of all parties involved. No one should be treated as if they have fewer rights or are less human based on their ethnicity, religion, or heritage. Laws and regulations should be in place to combat all forms of discrimination, whether it is anti-Semitism or any other type of bigotry, and they should apply to all individuals, regardless of their religious or ethnic background. It is vital to uphold principles of human rights, justice, and equality for all, and to promote a nuanced and well-informed dialogue that fosters understanding and peace in this complex war. What is not anti-Semitism? Legitimate criticism of the policies or actions of the Israeli government is not inherently anti-Semitic. It is possible to critique Israel or support Palestinian rights without promoting hatred against Jewish people. The key lies in the intent, the language used, and the context of criticism. Critique of Israeli policies, expressing concerns about Israeli government policies, such as those related to settlements, the Israeli-Palestinian war, or human rights abuses, is not anti-Semitic. International criticism of governments is a fundamental aspect of free speech and diplomacy. Political discourse, engaging in debates or discussions about Israel's actions or the Israeli-Palestinian war is not anti-Semitic if it remains focused on policies and politics, without resorting to stereotypes or hate speech. Support for Palestinian rights, advocating for the rights and dignity of Palestinians is not anti-Semitic. Many individuals and organizations promote peace, justice, and equality for both Israelis and Palestinians. 
Solidarity with Jewish people, expressing solidarity with Jewish individuals and communities and supporting their safety and security is not anti-Semitic. Historical education, teaching or learning about the Holocaust, even if it highlights the horrors and atrocities committed, is not anti-Semitic. It is an essential part of understanding history and preventing such events from happening again, each is happening right now Nakba, the second genocide that is happening now against Palestinians and the aggressor is Israel who has learned nothing from history. It is essential to differentiate between valid criticism or political activism and the promotion of anti-Semitic stereotypes or hate. The context, language, and intent behind statements or actions are crucial in distinguishing between what constitutes antisemitism and what does not. Promoting respectful and informed discourse is the key to addressing these complex issues while upholding principles of tolerance and justice.